Bachelor of Science, Honors, Bachelor of Science, Bachelor of Nursing, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Theater, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Visual Art, Bachelor of Business Administration, Honors, Bachelor of Business Administration, Bachelor of Education, Post-Secondary, Bachelor of Education, Primary, Elementary, Bachelor of Education, Intermediate, Secondary, Bachelor of Social Work, Bachelor of Environment and Sustainability, Master of Arts, Master of Science, Master of Science in Boreal Ecosystems and Agricultural Sciences, Master of Education, Master of Public Health. Ceremonies will also take place in St. John's on June 21st and 22nd with two sessions each day at 10 a.m. and 3 p.m. at the Mary Brown Center. This session of convocation is being presided over by Dr. Susan Knight, Chancellor of Memorial University. The academic procession is led by University Marshal Bert Riggs, along with Marshals Krista Howell, Robert Bailey, and Sonia Corbin Dwyer. The music for convocation is provided by the School of Music Jazz Ensemble and by soloist Emma McEachran, who is herself crossing the stage today. The mace, a symbol of the authority vested in the university, is carried by Jennifer Watton, Office of Human Resources. Convocation will be officially open when the mace is placed on the table in front of the chancellor. to welcome you all to the Grenfell Campus, Memorial University. We acknowledge that the land on which we gather is in traditional Mi'kmaq territory, and we acknowledge with respect the diverse histories and cultures of the Beothic, the Mi'kmaq, the Innu, and the Inuit of this province. Please be seated. Well, it's wonderful to see you back and wonderful that you came back. We always say to you when you come to Memorial and when you graduate, thank you for coming to Memorial because you helped build it and all the knowledge you carry for into, forth into the world, the world is richer because of it. So I'm delighted just to, I hope I get a chance to meet some of you, not just in a very uh, quick way here, but um, afterwards, just to have a chat, see what you're doing, where, you're, where you've come from, and so forth. Um, I, uh, will not, I'll be wearing a mask when I greet you up here, and I just wanted to let you know that um, I would prefer not to, but uh, I live with a dear person who has a severe chronic lung disease, and so I am super careful. 
And uh, otherwise, I'd, I'd love to meet you in another way. But believe me, I'll be talking to you through my eyes, and my eyes will be saying how proud we all are of you. And so many other things, and so many people here this afternoon will be talking about that. But you do represent the hope of the future. And we are very, very glad that you came to Newfoundland. So. I just met about an hour ago in his second year, and now he'll probably tell you what he's doing. Thank you so much to our Chancellor, Dr. Susan Dyer Knight. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Will Critch, and I am a first year Grenfell Campus visual arts student, and I am going to be our MC for this afternoon. To begin, please keep your masks on while you're seated and remove it when you're crossing the stage. Um, to all the guests, please keep your masks on. We're just trying to stay here, and luckily we have this opportunity, so we want to stay safe. The School of Music Jazz Ensemble welcomed us here today, so let's hear a big round of applause for Matthew Room, Liam Kovic, Genevieve Walsh, and Jack Echeverry. Now, when I was asked to take on this duty, of course, it was a very easy yes. It's such an amazing opportunity to help celebrate all of your amazing accomplishments. Um, for all of you guys, of course, your final years of university may have not been what you were expecting, but the fact that you all graduated during a pandemic really does say a lot about your perseverance, whether all of you even knew that you possessed that or not. Um, we know we can't celebrate what we've already lost, but we're going to celebrate today everything that you've all accomplished through all this and becoming valued members of the Memorial Alumni family. The Hats Off graduation celebration was very fun last year, and thank you so much to everyone who could be a part of it. Now we can say that it was just a precursor to today's event. Um, there's no one prouder of our graduates than our President and Vice Chancellor, Dr. Ryan Timmons. So please welcome Dr. Ryan Timmons to the stage. Thank you so much. Well, it, we're so honored to have Will do the MC in today. Let's give him a big hand. <laughs> Chancellor, Honorable Chief, Dr. Sutherland, Your Worship, members of the Board of Regents, members of the Senate, faculty members who are here today, um, members of the graduating classes, and all our family and friends, welcome this afternoon. So I'm going to ask our graduates to just take a moment to honor all your faculty and staff that supported you over your years at Grenfell and all your family and friends that are here. Let's give appreciation to everyone who supported you. So this is a celebration. It's a party. We're going to be joyous today. So if you want to clap, hoot, or holler, go right ahead. This is your event today, uh, graduates. So just have fun. Just don't wake the baby. If the baby is the baby sleeping? Yeah. You can hoot and holler, but not if you're sitting next to the baby. We are thrilled to have this opportunity to offer our congratulations to each and every one of you on your accomplishments. What you have faced has been arguably the greatest societal upheaval of our generation. In the middle of your programs, we sent you home. We told you you had to learn remotely, and I know it was difficult. I started as president of Memorial University April 1st, 2020, April Fool's Day, and was I ever fooled to start in a pandemic? Can you imagine? For I didn't meet my vice presidents in person till the end of June, and I started April 1st here. 
For two years, it's been, I call it myself, a pandemic president, and you are pandemic students in many ways. But what did you do? You persevered. You focused on getting those degrees completed and moving onwards in your educational path. Many of you started your careers and jobs, and your adaptability and your commitment is good news for all of us here today, because it means that you, you, your generation, you leaders, leaders of tomorrow, leaders of today and tomorrow, you can handle anything now. You handled the pandemic, you can handle anything. You can take on anything, you can use what you've learned at Grenfell to help your communities and build a greater future for all of us, and you give us hope. So as I look at you, and I was thinking about when I finished university, I did not go to my convocation for my first three degrees. I didn't go to it. I am so happy you have come to it, because I did go to my PhD. And my brother, it was in Calgary, my brother and my father came. I was living at that time in Nova Scotia, teaching at St. Evex. And I went there, and it was my first convocation that I attended. And I remember being quite overwhelmed and thinking, why didn't I go to any of my other convocations? And you have. You've taken the opportunity to say, look what I have done. I'm going to celebrate it, and good on you. And then I was thinking, when I was thinking of you, I was thinking, when I finished my degrees, what did I do? I remember that I got it, my first official career job was teaching in northern British Columbia, and I had never been outside of Atlantic Canada. And I was teaching in northern British Columbia. And uh, I, I, I got a flight out there, and I went, and I remember not knowing anyone, not knowing where I was going, feeling very alone and lost. But I started a career and an adventure that I could never imagine. And I remember leaving being full of hope, hope in the future. I hope that that's how you feel. I hope you recognize you've got your life ahead of you. There are so many adventures you're going to have. You probably already have had. Um, look at me. Grow, raised in Labrador, my father was a minor, first generation go to university, and a university president. I never imagined this was my path. You cannot imagine what your path is going to be, but it's going to be interesting, exciting, unpredictable. You're going to take the road less traveled so often. You're going to take risks and be open to new things. Be open to risks. Try everything you can. Be adventurous. You know, I kind of did that when I turned 40. When I turned 40, I was in a bit of a slump. Had four kids, had a great career, but I just, I was bored with myself. So I decided on my 40th birthday, I was going to run a marathon. And I went for a run that day, and I couldn't finish two kilometers. So you can imagine what a slug I was. But I thought, no, this is going to be my 40th year thing. And I did. I ran a marathon. I ran five marathons in the end. Uh, and I, what I learned through that was that if you plan, if you persevere, if you set a goal and you do it inch by inch by inch, you can achieve things you never imagined. And that's what you can do. And that's what you're going to do. You're going to set goals for yourself. You're going to get outside your comfort zone. You're going to be adventurous. You're going to take risks. And you're going to grow as human beings to be the great leaders that we know you are today. I also decided uh, my husband had a motorcycle. And I decided, oh, well, I think I'll learn to ride a motorcycle. That was my 40, when I turned 42, I think. I went and I took motorcycle lessons, got my motorcycle license, and was determined never to drive a motorcycle because it scared the bejesus out of me. Matt, when you're on that road, 100 kilometers an hour, and that pavement's right there, and you're not bare skin because you've got all the layers on, but you know that if you hit that, it wouldn't be a pretty thing. So I decided, I got my license, but I was never going to drive a motorcycle. And for Mother's Day, my husband bought me a motorcycle as a surprise. That's a true story. I had to then ride the motorcycle, but I got, I got rid of it pretty quickly when my son turned 16. I thought, I'm out of here, no more motorcycle. And I haven't gotten on one since. So some of your adventures you're going to try, and you're going to take them on, and you're going to say, ah, that wasn't the path I should have gone. 
but that's okay because you've learned from it. And even when you fail, you've learned. Remember to always step back and remember that inner strength inside you. The sign of having character is not to be, to be um, classy when you've had successes like you have today, not to be able to celebrate those. Well, it's when you've had disappointment and you're in the depths of despair. That's when character shows. That's when you dig deep, you hold your head up high, and you go out and you take on the next challenge. And you're going to face those depths of despair moments. And remember this for me. That is when you dig deep and you show character. You are going to have the greatest adventure in your life. So take risks, have adventures, be joyous, and never, never give up hope. Hope for a better future for your beautiful children child, hope for a better future for the children you will have, for the nieces and nephews you will have, hope for a better future for all, and you will make that happen. So you came to Grenfell Campus not knowing what the future would hold. You had a goal, maybe one that changed along the way, but that is what life is all about. It's about endless possibilities and knowing it's okay to take a path and turn around and take another one. Einstein said, learn from yesterday, live for today, hope for tomorrow. The important thing is not to stop questioning. You are our hope for tomorrow. You have the world in front of you, and we want to be on your, your, on, on your tailcoats running beside you, with you. Keep curious, keep asking, keep hoping. And remember, you have the world in your hand. Enjoy every moment of it. Thank you. Thank you so much, Dr. Timmons, and for joining us here today. Up next is Dr. Ian Sutherland. Dr. Sutherland moved into the role of Vice President at Grenfell about a year ago, and in that time, he's come to appreciate what a special place Grenfell is, and is delighted to join in the celebration of what makes us so special, of course, our students. Thank you very much, Will. I'm gonna have a glass of water before I start. Not the entire glass, just part of it. <clears throat> Good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon. One more time with feeling. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. That wasn't bad. It's a pleasure to have all of you here. Actually, it's a joy to have all of you here. And I want to acknowledge the Chancellor, wonderful to have you here, of course. Uh, President, wonderful to have you here as always. Your Worship, Mayor Parsons, great to have you here. I want to recognize also uh, Chief Mitchell Halibu, First Nation, and Vice Chief Brake is also here. I want to recognize her. And of course, members of the Board of Regents, George Campus, our Grenfell Campus Region student representative is here in the front row. So wonderful to have you here. And to all of our distinguished guests, faculty, members of Senate, thank you for being here. But most of all, thank you to all of you, and congratulations. Now you're going to hear that word a lot today, congratulations, but you should hear that word a lot today. And I want to add two other words to congratulations. I want to say thank you. Thank you for your tenacity, your perseverance, your commitment, your dedication, your ability to pivot once in a while and for choosing Grenfell Campus in the very first place. And I want to join everybody's voices together, uh, as Dr. Timmons also did, in thanking all of our employees, our staff, our faculty, for helping us navigate so successfully a really challenging couple of years. So let's do that. Raise your voices and clap in thanks and congratulations for the graduates. <laughs> Now, of course, this is a little bit of a different convocation because all of you already have your degrees in that sense. You graduated or completed your programs of study a year or two years ago. So it's wonderful to have you all here and thank you for, for coming to this ceremony. We were all very heartbroken that we couldn't provide a ceremony like this for you during uh, the worst days, shall we say, of the pandemic. 
And I thought in speaking to you this afternoon, what I would do is provide kind of an update and to also let all of your supporters know about what has been going on at Grenfell Campus in these last uh, weeks, months, and the last couple of years. While the pandemic has been going on, great things have still been happening. First thing I want to talk about is research. Grenfell Campus was founded in 1975 as Western Regional College. It then became Sir Wilfrid Grenfell College in 1979 and eventually, of course, Grenfell Campus. But in its first instance, it was a place of teaching, uh, primarily pre uh, preparing students to go off to degrees most likely at the St. John's Campus. But today, we still have that phenomenal teaching happening and phenomenal learning, but we are also a research-intensive institution. And that was no more abundantly clear than this January when we announced Grenfell Campus's largest research grant ever, $15 million in federal research funding, plus $1 million in industry partnerships for a total of $16 million in research funding for one project. That deserves some applause. Now, you may wonder, what, what, what is that project? Well, it's a project re led by Dr. Raymond Thomas, who is a faculty member, professor in the School of Science and the Environment, and it's focused on marine biomass innovation. So it's a project of incredible research, but one also intended, as so much of what we do at Grenfell Campus, to help transform our horizons, our futures, our economies, and so on for the future. And it's going to be looking at how do we do more with what we can get from the oceans, and how do we do that sustainably, and how do we do that in partnership, particularly with Indigenous people, Mi'kmaq communities around, in ways learning from those communities and their histories and their cultures and traditions. So tremendous research happening. At the same time, we have been expanding our teaching and learning. Just this past January, we launched our new Certificate in Sustainable Rural Communities, a tremendously important program for this province, certainly, but for the entire country, sustainable rural communities. And just yesterday, the Board of Regents of Memorial University was meeting here in Cornerbrook, and they approved another new program for Grenfell Campus, the new Masters in Applied Literary Arts, which is starting this September. And we're also looking forward to 2023, when we launch the new Masters of Management program, which is going to be an entirely online program for those that want to advance their managerial and business skills. So lots happening as we build programs for learning for the future. At the same time, talking about learning, we are physically building lots of new stuff at Grenfell. If you drive to the back of the campus, and for all of you, if you haven't been on campus recently, do, do go up and take a look, and we've got a reception for you, of course, after this ceremony. But take a look at the back, because it'll look nothing like the last time you saw it. It's a, a construction site, because the new regional recreation and aquatic center is going there. And this is going to be a great transformative new place for the campus, certainly for our students, faculty, and staff. But this is an incredible partnership with the city of Cornerbrook, and I want to thank Mayor Parsons for all of your work and your team's work in bringing this to fruition. And it will be a city-run facility, an incredible new facility for the campus, yes, but more importantly, or at least equally as importantly, for the city and for the whole region. And it's a partnership with the city of Cornerbrook, with federal funding, it's the university. It's how we get stuff done here in community at Grenfell Campus. At the same time, we're building a new ESL facility, new English second language facility in the library computing building. And that's happening right now. We'll launch that later this summer. And the new Center for Research and Innovation. Many of you probably live here in Cornerbrook or are familiar with it, and you will have seen some change to a building down just across from the mill. That building is about to be opened officially, but yesterday we had a sort of soft launch. The uh, members of the Board of Regents met there and we had a reception. And that Center for Research and Innovation is going to be a place for entrepreneurship, business incubation. It's going to be a place of research, a place of maker spaces, a place for the campus, for our students, faculty, and staff to work, a place for the community, for the public to engage, and also a place in partnership with the College of the North Atlantic. Because once again, that is an incredible partnership with the university, with Kruger, Cornerbrook Pulp and Paper, through federal funds, provincial funds, municipal funds, university funds, and also in partnership with the College of the North Atlantic. So there's a lot to be proud of 
here at Grenfell Campus, and I hope that those updates instill even more pride in all of you, our graduates, and all of your supporters here today as you go forward. But what we are most proud of is you, our graduates. You are the reason we are all here today. You are the reason our hearts are totally full with joy. So we celebrate you. And in celebrating you, I want to share with you five words, five words that were said to me the last time I did what you will do today, walking across the stage at a convocation. And on that day, the chancellor of that university, almost as wonderful as the chancellor of this university, she said to me as I approached her on the stage, she said, help craft a better future. And that's what I want to leave with you today. But I need to add a word, because I want to say continue to help craft a better future. You're already doing it. The fact that you're here is proof. But continue to go out and help build that better future. And the future is bright, because we have all of you in it. And we have this wonderful new uh, Grenfell campus student that's going to be applying in a few years, the baby back there. So the future is indeed bright. The very last thing I will say to all of you is that you are part of an extraordinary family, an incredible family, that of Grenfell Campus and of Memorial University. You are all alumni of Memorial University. You will always have a home right here at Grenfell Campus, so don't be a stranger. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Dr. Sutherland. We will now welcome the Jazz Ensemble back, who's going to perform She Waits for the New Sun by Kenny Garrett.
That was so amazing. Let's hear it once again for the music ensemble, of course. Now I'm happy to invite Ian Duncan Chandhi Ananda to the podium. Originally from Nairobi, Kenya, Ian graduated from Grenfell with a Bachelor of Science in Computational Math in 2021. Ian was our host during the Hats Off celebration last year, and we are delighted to have him back with us again. Now, during his time as a Grenfell student, Ian was the Student Union Vice President External, the Grenfell Student Representative to the Board of Regents, as well as the recipient of the Student Governance Award and the Grenfell Campus Student Union Merit Award. He's an advertising data analyst in Halifax and was recently accepted into the University of Ottawa to pursue a master's degree in mathematics and statistics. So let's give a big round of applause to Ian Ananda. Thank you for that. Um, distinguished guest, the Chancellor of Memorial University, the President of Memorial University, and the Vice President. All protocols observed. Ladies and gentlemen, and my fellow graduates, good evening. Um, my goal through this speech is, one, to keep calm, two, not cry, um, and three, not to fall down as I leave. Um, it's an honor and a joy of mine to be here today, um, but most importantly to be speaking in front of all of you. I am especially excited about the chance to have a formal convocation ceremony um, in the presence of my friends, um, faculty, um, and also just hear my name called out across, hear my name called out and get the chance to walk across the stage. Um, to quote one of my, a verse from one of my favorite books, it says, Though it tarries, wait for it, because it shall surely come. And the moment, our moment, has finally come. Um, so first of all, I'd like to thank the Grenfell Campus Administration for keeping their word and actually having the ceremony for us. And then I'd like to thank all of you for showing up and coming, because if we were invited and no one showed up, um, the ceremony wouldn't have come to, to happen. Um, I stand here as a testament to the fact that, um, one, being out in the real world is not as easy, and two, being a university student shelters you from a lot. Um, there's no more student discounts or promos to take advantage of. I have to pay full price for Apple Music now. So, yeah. But um, for us, me and my fellow graduates, I'd like to think of us as a special breed of graduates. Um, like the rest of the world, we were forced to adapt when the pandemic hit, uh, but we had to disrupt our studies. We had to leave campus, uh, we had to take classes and final exams online, um, and deal with the mental stress of not only being in school, but dealing with the pandemic. Um, and that's something no other group of graduates had to do before. So hats off to us for doing it. Um, round of applause, please, for these guys right here. So um, I hope you are proud of yourselves, and I hope that, that the experience of going through it uh, was not in vain, that you will learn from some, you learned something from that experience. Um, and because we did not get here by ourselves, please take time to thank your loved ones Thank the ones that encourage you through the stress and the anxiety, the friends that stayed up with you uh, through the sleepless nights, family who made you dinner during exam weeks, the professors who believed in you and took their time with you. Um, yeah, whoever they are, in whatever capacity that they supported you, remember to appreciate them. I would personally like to thank uh, my professor, Dr. Vasilieva for investing time and effort in my studies and introducing me to the world of epidemiology, which I am proud to be going to the University of Ottawa to pursue um, with my master's degree in mathematics. I'd like to thank Dr. Ken Jacobson, a friend and a constant supporter of mine. I'd like to thank the former vice president of Grenfell Campus, Dr. Jeff Keshen, who continues to be a good friend of mine. He created a, collab a collaborative space 
between the administration and the student leaders, and his door was always open to me. Um, I'd also like to thank my parents and my biggest supporters, Mr. and Mrs. Kennedy and Sarah Nunda. I hope I have made you proud, and I wish you were here today. Above all, I'd like to thank God for the health and strength and the ability to do this. Lastly, they say a man is only as good as the company he keeps. But I'd like to challenge all of us here today to not only be as good, but be better. To be the source of change and the voice of reason in our families, in our circle of friends, in our working institutions, and in life. If you find yourself in bad company, be better. If you find yourself in good company, again, be better. My mantra, which I have written in multiple cover letters to every job I've applied for, is to leave a place better than I found it. So let us then go ye forth and make the world a better place. Let it be known that because we were here and because we were alive, institutions and systems change for the better. And to quote the first female vice president of the United States, Kamala Harris, we did it, Joe. Thank you so much, and I'd like to invite um, Carolyn Persons, the Registrar of Grantville Campus. Thank you, Ian. Those were absolutely beautiful words. So to everyone here today, welcome. First and foremost, to all our graduates, as well as friends, families, partners, supporters, our faculty and staff, and everyone who has played a very important role in our graduates' journey to get here today. To members of the classes of 2020 and 2021, congratulations. And congratulations doesn't really seem to quite cut it, but I'm not sure what else to say. You graduated during extraordinary times, and today is about celebrating you. Some of you may still not have a crystal clear path for your future, and I'm sure there may be some uncertainties but embrace the unknown and enjoy every adventure. One thing I do know is in our ever-changing world, the need for critical thinkers and problem solvers is greater than ever. And we know you are equipped to take on this challenge. Graduation from university is an important milestone your knowledge and experiences have shaped who you are and helped you grow in unmeasurable ways. You've met new people and made important memories. As has already been said, you're also the only group who can say that you graduated during a global pandemic. One of the most disruptive times in recent history. If you ever doubted your own personal strength, you can remind yourself that what you accomplished is great. In normal times, this would be a great accomplishment. But after the last couple of years, you should all feel like you have superpowers. You have persevered, shown your adaptability, and proven that you can do just about anything. I would also like to thank all the supporters who are here today. Undoubtedly, it was your love and support that made it possible for these graduates to be here today. Now, the moment some of you have waited two years for, crossing this stage. Convocation and celebrating you, our graduates, is one of the highlights for me. This moment fills me with pride so please, when you come up here, enjoy your moment on the stage. Take your time, soak up every second, and smile. Hold your head high, this is your day. 
I'm now going to invite our graduates from 2020 and 2021 to the stage in an orderly manner, which you will get assistance with, I'm sure. And this is a celebration. So I welcome you to applaud, hoot and holler for each graduate as they cross the stage. Do not hold back. I'll just give them a second to make their way here. Degree of Bachelor of Arts Honors. Jillian Michelle Ash. Jillian Michelle Ash is from Cornerbrook. the degree of Bachelor of Arts. Ashley Marie Collins. Ashley Marie Collins is from Hammonds Plains, Nova Scotia. Isabella Dennis. Isabella Dennis is from Pasadena. Matthew Helps. Matthew Helps is from Nepean, Ontario. Kirsten Hepditch, winner of the University Medal for Academic Excellence in Historical Studies. Kirsten Heptich is from Conception Harbor. Natasha Jones, winner of the University Medal for Academic Excellence in Police Studies. Natasha Jones is from Buckins Junction. Christian Kelly. Christian Kelly is from Pasadena. Cassie Georgina McCarthy. Cassie Georgina McCarthy is from Benoist Cove. Rebecca Mills. Rebecca Mills is from Gander. Dominica Reyes. Dominica Reyes is from Quito, Ecuador. Jagger Taylor. Jagger Taylor is from St. Barb. For the degree of Bachelor of Science Honors. Anna Dolomond, winner of the University Medal for Academic Excellence in Psychology. Anna Dolomond is from Stephenville. Kristen Seymour. Kristen Seymour is from Botwood. Catherine Charlotte White. 
Catherine Charlotte White is from Cornerbrook. For the degree of Bachelor of Science. Ian Duncan Chandy Anunda. Ian Duncan Chandy Anunda is from Nairobi City, Kenya. Cindy Melissa Bowers, winner of the University Medal for Academic Excellence in Computational Mathematics. Cindy Melissa Bowers is from Churchill Falls. Brandon Harris. Brandon Harris is from La Cie. Jamie Lynn McNeil Lambswood. Jamie Lynn McNeil Lambswood is from Stephenville. Bumo Mugabe. Bumo Mugabe is from Spruce Grove, Alberta. Tanisha Catherine Florence Parsons. Tanisha Catherine Florence Parsons is from Trout River. The degree of Bachelor of Nursing. Caitlin Victoria Batstone. Caitlin Victoria Batstone is from Irish Town, Summerside. Taylor Ray Bennett. Taylor Ray Bennett is from Stephenville. Sarah Ashley Bursey. Sarah Ashley Bursey is from Massey Drive. Stephanie Carey. Stephanie Carey is from Cornerbrook. Brianna Gertrude Colburn. Brianna Gertrude Colburn is from Roddington Vidar. Julia Danielle Collins. Julia Danielle Collins is from Botwood. Linnell Lorraine Golding. Linnell Lorraine Golding is from Deer Lake. Chelsea Rain Hobbs Regular. Chelsea Rain Hobbs Regular is from Springdale. Rebecca Grace House. Rebecca Grace House is from Stephenville. Crystal Cindy House. Crystal Cindy House is from Port Saunders. Elena Kathleen Humphreys. Elena Kathleen Humphreys is from Cornerbrook. Heidi Elizabeth King. Heidi Elizabeth King is from Bishop's Falls. Adam McCarthy. Adam McCarthy is from Cornerbrook. Emily Jean Muse. Emily Jean Muse is from Embry. Jenna Elizabeth Noseworthy. Jenna Elizabeth Noseworthy 
is from Corner Brook. Christina Park. Christina Park is from Corner Brook. Tanya Justine Pittman. Tanya Justine Pittman is from Roddington by the Arm. Robin Amber Renee Rideout. Robin Amber Renee Rideout is from Kings Point. Sophie Rouleau. Sophie Rouleau is from Cornerbrook. Autumn Cassandra Samji Saunders. Autumn Cassandra Samji Saunders is from Cornerbrook. Neve Regan Snow. Neve Regan Snow is from Dartmouth, Nova Scotia. Kendra Tanya Starks. Kendra Tanya Starks is from Nippers Harbor. Alana Alexis Simmons. Alana Alexis Simmons is from Conch. Joshua William Taylor. Joshua William Taylor is from Cornerbrook. Holly Young. Holly Young is from Deer Lake. Jocelyn Rosie. Jocelyn Rosie is from Berwick, Nova Scotia. For the degree of Bachelor of Fine Arts, Theatre. Isabella Dennis. Isabella Dennis is from Pasadena. Emma Hewitt Nippard. Emma Hewitt Nippard is from Jackson's Arm. Bailey Jackson, winner of the University Medal for Academic Excellence for Fine Arts Theatre. <laughs> Bailey Jackson is from Ottawa, Ontario. Riley Jadzia Noel Keats. Riley Jadzia Noel Keats is from Deer Lake. Luke William Rowe. Luke William Rowe is from St. John's. For the degree of Bachelor of Fine Arts, Visual Arts. Lauren Brake. Yeah! Lauren Brake is from Heatherton. Yeah. Emily May Clark. Yeah! Emily May Clark is from Middle Cove. <laughs> Melissa Mercer. Melissa Mercer is from Portugal Cove, St. Phillips. For the degree of Bachelor of Business Administration Honors. Amna Chohan. 
Ahmed Chohan is from Doha, Qatar. Nathan Frederick Diamond. Nathan Frederick Diamond is from Cornerbrook. Savannah Faith Quinlan. Savannah Faith Quinlan is from Baytona. Patty Samantha Ricketts, winner of the University Medal for Academic Excellence in Business Administration. Patty Samantha Ricketts is from Bergio. For the degree, a Bachelor of Business Administration. Sarah Irene Bolger. Sarah Irene Bolger is from Capstan Island. Yes. Natasha Galton. Natasha Galton is from Cornerbrook. Brooke Hagerman. Brooke Hagerman is from Ottawa, Ontario. Chelsea Catherine Sylvia Marks. Chelsea Catherine Sylvia Marks is from Cornerbrook. Cassie Georgina McCarthy. Cassie Georgina McCarthy is from Benoit's Cove. Natasha Rebecca Dora Mercer. Natasha Rebecca Dora Mercer is from Port of Basque. Nicole Chantel Katrina Nicholas. Nicole Chantel Katrina Nicholas is from Jackson's Arm. Melissa Megan Penny. Melissa Megan Penny is from Cornerbrook. Michael Snow. For the degree of Bachelor of Education, Intermediate, Secondary. Jessica Elizabeth Drew. Jessica Elizabeth Drew is from Babels. For the degree of Bachelor of Environment and Sustainability. Daniel Gordon Luke House. Daniel Gordon Luke House is from Kippens. Chanel Caroline Lassard. Chanel Caroline Lassard is from Old Fort Bay, Quebec. For the degree of Bachelor of Music Honors Vocal Performance. Emma Kathleen McCachran. Emma Kathleen McCachran is from Truro, Nova Scotia.
The next degree will be for the degree of Master of Arts. Abdul Latif Al Hassan. Abdul Latif Al Hassan is from Tamale, Ghana. Marley Joan Kingston. Marley Joan Kingston is from Bay Devin, New Brunswick. Roshane Mendez. Roshane Mendez is from Kurnigala, Sri Lanka. Natasha Mary Pennell. Natasha Mary Pennell from Cornerbrook. For the degree of Master of Science in Boreal Ecosystems and Agricultural Sciences. Muhammad Farhan. Muhammad Farhan is from Pakistan. Muhammad Mishala Farheen. Muhammad Mashallah Farheen is from Cornerbrook. For the degree of Master of Education. Victoria Elizabeth Byrne. Victoria Elizabeth Byrne is from Botwood. Gina Keynes. Gina Keynes is from Bear Cove. Brad Elliott. Brad Elliott is from Cornerbrook. Angela Gomez Otavo. Angela Gomez Otavo is from Bogota, Colombia. Thomas William Young. Thomas William Young is from Cornerbrook. For the degree of Master of Technology Management. Ibrahim Alutayo Adeniji. Ibrahim Alutayo Adeniji is from Milton, Ontario. Okay, thank you. And now I want everyone to please join me in congratulating our 2020 and 2021 graduates. Thank you so much, Ms. Parsons, and once again, congrats to the class of 2020 and 2021. Now we welcome Emma McCachran back to the stage for a final performance. 
Emma, a recent voice grad of the School of Music, is now an employee of Grenfell Campus. Dr. Sutherland, who is formerly the Dean of the School of Music, will accompany her. They will perform Climb Every Mountain from the Sound of Music by Rogers and Hammerstein. So give a big round of applause for Emma McEachern. Thank you so much, Emma and Dr. Ian Sutherland. This concludes the formal part of our ceremony. Thanks to you all and to your support network who have undoubtedly played a huge role in all of your success. You're all invited to join us in the atrium of the Arts and Science Building for a reception. There's gonna be grad cookies, coffee, decorations, and great spots for photos. Thank you all, I've enjoyed being your MC, and now we're gonna invite the Chancellor to bring the special ceremony to a close. Thank you guys so much. Well, I think so much has been said. I'm just waiting to hear all the things you are going to say and do in your lives and pride and joy belong to everyone in the room. And you know, there's one group that we didn't specially acknowledge, your professors. We didn't do that today, did we? Get up. And we're going to conclude this part of your celebration and then hope to meet you in the reception um, with the Ode to Newfoundland, which is found in the 
first leaf of your program, and we're going to sing all four verses. So thank you, and congratulations. has left the hall. Many of the doctoral gowns seen here on stage are not from Memorial, but are representative of the different universities from which faculty members and administrators obtained their degrees. Typically, American universities' doctoral gowns feature velvet facings and three horizontal stripes on each sleeve in the color of the respective university. Memorial's academic dress is modeled on the University of Oxford gown, which was originally worn as clerical dress. Those graduates receiving bachelor's and master's degree wear plain black gowns similar in design to the scholar's gown of the University of Oxford. The hats worn by these individuals are black mortarboards with black tassels. Hoods for the bachelor's and master's degrees are edged with velvet the color of their particular degree. For instance, arts degree hoods are edged with white velvet, science are edged with gold, engineering are edged with orange, commerce are edged with drab, and so forth. These hoods are lined with claret and white, the university's official colors. The bachelor's hoods are distinguished by the fur, pardon me, by the white fur edging the hood, while the master's hoods are completely edged in velvet. Students receiving their doctoral degrees from Memorial wear the scarlet and claret gown together with the black doctor's bonnet, which is modeled on the Oxford's doctor's bonnet. The hood is of claret-colored cloth lined with claret and white silk. Honorary graduates are distinguished from graduating doctoral students by their scarlet gowns. A recent addition to Memorial's academic dress is the university hood, which is worn at ceremonies by Memorial's representatives who do not own academic dress for their alma maters. Following Memorial's traditions, the university hood is made of black cloth that is lined and edged with claret and white silk. Thank you. 